a region in shock. Tourists see the lighter side of the huge dumping of snow. As Southland residents try to get on with their lives, farmers are left to count the cost of the worst snowfall in living memory. Heavy dumps through the weekend have left most paddocks covered in thick, hard snow, difficult for ewes to break through to graze. And as the snow melts, paddocks are quickly churned to mud as the icy water saturates the soil. Morton, Maine's farmer Neil Blackmore has lived on his family's sheep and cattle station all his life and says he's never seen anything like this. This would be the worst that I've ever struck. Uh, eight inches over, pretty near a whole farm would be over eight inches of uh, snow. Despite huge stock losses, Neil Blackmore is counting himself lucky that he was more than halfway through lambing when the storm hit. As the snow fell, all he could do was to move his stock into the relative shelter of tree or hill cover. One mob's gone into the shed here, another one in under trees over there, the other one's in behind trees where we, we didn't have other stock. Um, and that was, that's basically all you can do. Neil's story isn't unique. Right through Southland, hundreds of thousands of dead lambs and calves litter the roadsides, waiting to be picked up. Truck driver Wiri Kerr says he's the busiest he's ever been, and he's only halfway through his day. Our yeah, run today is reasonably large. This is our second trip in the truck today. We've got a ute loader back at the yard waiting to be clean shipped, and we're not even halfway around our run yet. The carcasses are taken to Slingskins Limited, owned by farmer Ray Watson. He says despite the spike in business, the weather has been a disaster for the region. It'll be unclear until the end of the week that the actual numbers, but you know, the, they're going to be huge. Um, there's, the, the losses are really, this time round, unbelievable. Ray's plant is flat out, and there are still thousands of lambs to collect. Slinkskin's worker Brian Meakin doesn't even want to guess at how many dead lambs are still out there. About six years ago we had a pretty bad year, but there's a few more dairy farms around now, so won't hit as much, but the farm, sheep farmers that are still there will hit them pretty good, yeah. Early estimates put the toll as high as a million lambs dead already, and with further cold weather predicted, it may be days before the total count is known. Agriculture Minister David Carter says it's another body blow for the South Island's already battered rural economy. Well, the poor old South Island's been through a lot lately. We've had the Christchurch earthquake and of course government responded very, very quickly there. We've had a lot of ministers down. This is very much an agricultural event apart from the stadium as well in Invercargill. But as an agricultural event, I as the minister want to get there as quickly as possible. Federated Farmers Southland President Rod Pemberton though says the biggest cost may be the emotional toll on farmers just hope that the farmers themselves keep going, and this frame of mind, I suppose, is one of the things we're concerned about now, depression and things like that. And with immense damage to Southland businesses and homes, the true cost of 2010, both financially and emotionally, may be impossible to measure. Drew Chappell, Country 99 TV News.